The Teachers Service Commission has suspended 160 teachers, among them 10 union officials, for allegedly boycotting and disrupting the recently held teacher training on the competency-based curriculum. The affected teachers have been given 21 days to show course why they should not be fired, but the teachers union NAT says they will not take the matter lying down, as Makuri Ngechi now reports. These are some of the interdiction letters signed by respective county directors on behalf of TSC Secretary Nancy Masharia informing the teachers of the disciplinary action which takes effect immediately. The letter reads in part and I quote, Before the commission proceeds to consider and determine your case, you are invited to make a defense statement or response to the commission within 21 days from the date of this letter. Vacate office and continue to be away. The 160 teachers among them not officials from different parts of the country are accused of either neglecting their duties as required by their employer or boycotting and disrupting teacher training on CBC last month. The country witnessed temporary disruption of the training sessions after some of the teachers heed the call by NAT Secretary General Wilson Sosion to boycott the exercise terming it illegal. The latest move by TSC has angered the NAT boss. Sosion, who spoke to Citizen TV says in part, this is an affront on trade union rights. It is uncalled for. The teachers were actually protesting something that is illegal and unconstitutional. He further says, we shall take further action as a union. Have you cancelled these figures in there? But there is more trouble at the higher education level. Government-sponsored students admitted to private universities will now have to incur the extra fees charged by the institutions. Appearing before the National Assembly Education Committee, Education Cabinet Secretary Professor George Magoha said parents of such students will now have to pay more to finance the difference in the amount charged by the institution and what the government pays. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. In the past, job students placed in private universities due to unavailability of infrastructure in public universities have been facing problems as universities either decline to absorb them or always turn them away, citing low funding by the government. Against the expectations, the more than 17,000 government-sponsored students who joined private universities will now be forced to dig even deeper into their pockets to finance their studies in campus. Makori Citizen TV, Nairobi.